In this problem, we're told a basketball referee tosses the ball straight up for a starting tip-off. At what velocity must a basketball player leave the ground to rise 1.25 meters above the floor in an attempt to get the ball? Right, so the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So this referee is going to toss this ball up, right, and it's going to be at some height. Right, and we have this basketball player, right, and what he's going to want to do is rise 1.25 meters above the ground, right, in order to touch the ball, or right, grab the ball, right, so or hit the ball away to his teammate, right? So essentially, what we're trying to do is find the velocity he should jump at if we wanted to exactly jump to the point where he's going to be able to get the ball, right? Which is 1.25 meters above the ground, right? So that's basically what's going on. And so the way we're going to solve it by using kinematics, so the, what you want to do for these problems is just write down your given next. So we want to write down the information we're given, right? The kinematic variables we're given in order to solve. So what information are we told? So the first thing we should just write down is v sub zero equals question mark because v sub zero or the initial velocity is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find what velocity he has to leave the ground in order to uh, get the ball, right? So that's what we want to find. And so what information are we given? So we know he's going to be jumping 1.25 meters. So we know the change in y, right? How much he's going to travel in the y direction, which is 1.25 meters, right? Because that's how high he or how much he's going to change in order to touch the ball, right? We know that. And then we also know the acceleration. Right, so the acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? Because this is going to be a free fall problem, right? And this is going to be the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And it's negative because it's acting in the opposite direction that he's going, right? Because there's going to be some force pulling him down. And it's going to slow him down. So that's the acceleration. That's just the same for all free, uh, free fall problems, right? And then what else do we know? So we also uh, are assuming that the final velocity is going to be zero meters per second. And the reason this is, is we're assuming that the way, he, or like the, when he jumps, his highest point is going to be at 1.25 uh, meters above the ground. And when something reaches its highest point, its velocity is always zero. So its final velocity, or the player's final velocity, is just going to be zero meters per second, right? Because he's reaching his highest point, meaning once you're at your highest point, you're zero. So these are basically the three kinematic variables. And if you notice, we have three of them. So what we can do is use one of the kinematic equations uh, here on the right to solve. So notice we have delta y, we have a, and we have v. So uh, these say delta x, but just imagine they're delta y. It doesn't make a difference. And so... Uh, we have these three, right? And so the equation I think we should use is the fourth one. And the reason we're using the fourth one is because one, uh, two, and three all contain t, and we don't know how long this is going to take. So we can't use those, but we can use this, right? Because we have v, we have, uh, we're solving for v sub zero, uh, we have a, right? We have the acceleration, and we have uh, the change in y. So really all we have to do is just plug in. So we're going to be using v squared equals v sub zero squared plus 2a times delta y. So all we got to do is just plug in. So we know the final velocity is zero. Zero squared is still zero. Equals v sub zero, which is what we're solving for, squared, plus two times a. a is going to be minus 9.8 times the change in his y. So he's going to change 1.25 meters. So uh, in order to solve, what you can do is minus v sub zero squared to the other side, right? So you're going to get minus uh, v sub zero squared is equal to two times minus 9.8 times 1.25. And so notice that these are both going to be negative. So uh, you can just cancel out the negative on both sides and then just square root. So essentially, the initial velocity is just going to be 2 times 9.8 times 1.25. So what you're going to want to do is just do this, right? Plug in your calculator. Uh, 2 times 9.8 times 1.25. When you do this, you're going to get uh, v sub 0 is equal to 4.94, right? Uh, 9, 7, and so on. I'm just going to round to 5 because it's basically 5. So his initial velocity is basically going to be 5 uh, meters per second, right? Because uh, those are the units we're using. So 5 meters per second, if you want to round to a smaller number or more accurate, you can. I'm just going to go with the whole number, though. So 5 meters per second, that's going to be uh, his initial velocity if he wants to jump 1.25 meters to get the ball. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.